Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, no, no, you're cute. You're cute. I, I, I don't want to pet you, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, uh, oh, 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 what are you going to do? Oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, oh, no, okay. No, yeah, no, this, this spray is not for me. Eric is the man behind AtlanteanConspiracy.com and the author of a big conspiracy encyclopedia by the same name, covering everything from Atlantis to Zion. He's also more recently finished a book and documentary pair, both entitled The Flat Earth Conspiracy, a guy that has definitely challenged my worldview, and that's not an easy thing these days, so let's dive into it. Eric, my man, welcome to THC. Thanks for having me here. Appreciate it. For those of you not in the know, Eric Dubay is the big cheese of YouTube Flat Earthers. He's pushing 64,000 subs and pumps out pseudoscience documentaries like the Gonar style. I chose this interview to tackle his work because a lot of what he says is very repetitive. His videos repeat the same bullet points each and every time. These points are then regurgitated down the YouTube line by smaller channels. Lucky for us, this particular interview is rather concise, so most of the big topics are hit in a rather short time frame. So happy to have you here, man, and I think a lot of people are going to be challenged with this one. Go on the internet and tell lies? And it is going to be tough to articulate some of these arguments without pictures and diagrams, but what I've seen has raised some serious red flags with a lot of things that we take as a given, everything from the existence of nuclear weapons in the International Space Station to the makeup of the Earth and the entire universe itself. So let's not beat around the bush, man. You know, to challenge the heliocentric model of the solar system is pretty blasphemous in today's world. So how do we start to unravel some of this stuff? What are some of the biggest red flags with our traditional understanding that should start putting those first cracks in the listener's preconceived notions? Gotta admit, I am liking this host. Let's cut the shit and dive right in. What is the best argument for Flat Earth? What do we know now that would convince the ancient Greeks that they were wrong? Sure. Well, just our common sense, everyday perception of the Earth, it is flat as far as we can tell. Uh, it is motionless as far as we can tell. And everything in the sky is revolving around us as far as we can tell. Oh shit, common sense? You mean the critically and commercially successful Chicago rapper from the mid-90s? He was the key to the flat earth all along? If nobody told us otherwise, we'd logically assume that the earth was flat, motionless, with everything in the sky revolving around us. And you can prove that this is the case as well, for instance, with the horizon. As you rise up, no matter how high you go on the top of Mount Everest, or if you go in a balloon higher and higher, as far as 20 miles up and higher, we've gotten independent balloons have gone up with cameras. The horizon remains flat all the way around and rises to the eye of the camera all the way up. Now, if the Earth were a ball, no matter how big, the horizon is said to be the curvature of the ball. So as you rose up, the horizon would stay where it, uh, where it was, and you'd have to look down if you're in a hot air balloon, down further and further as you rose up and up, and the horizon would be below you. But in fact, as high as any non-NASA, RASA, or other Freemasonic space agency has ever shown us, as far as any independent camera has ever gone up with an independent rocket or a balloon, as far as 20 miles uh, up, totally flat and rises to the eye of the observer. How serendipitous for me. Our reality provided a clip showing the horizon falling with elevation. It's amazing the lack of self-awareness sometimes. Compare his images of Everest and of the plain. He's doing my work for me. So that's one proof. Of course, you can measure uh, curvature if it actually existed. They say the ball Earth is 25,000 miles in circumference and using spherical trigonometry it figures out to 8 inches of curvature per mile squared. The mile is squared so...
uh, specifically on a ball 25,000 miles in circumference, as they say it is. So you can check with theodolites and telescopes and different methods, lasers, to see if the Earth actually does have that curvature. And it's been tested over and over again and found to have no curvature whatsoever. So, I mean, even if they had the number wrong and it was uh, 100 thousand miles in circumference, there would still be a uh, calculable, measurable curvature that just isn't there. What you're seeing here is a mirage. The laser proof Frickin' laser beams attached to their heads! Eric is referring to is most likely the Lake Balaton laser experiment that took place in Hungary. Hi buddy, how does the Earth look like? Earth is flat, Earth is flat, flat, flat. Yeah, I'm sure it is. To say this experiment was rough is to be very kind to it. Reached this point, which was about three kilometers away, they kind of lost the beam, and suddenly another boat passed by and it appeared on it. Feel free to read the link provided below if you care to learn more, or call me a shill and a Jew, whatever floats your boat. The telescope flat earth proof he is referring to is probably someone looking at something through a telescope off in the distance that they don't think they should be able to see. These videos are a dime a dozen on YouTube and they all have really fucking cheesy music. <music> Seeing something beyond the Earth's curvature is not a new concept. Surveys deal with this problem every day in their work and they have the math to account for it. As to non-NASA photo evidence of a round Earth, again, a simple Google search will produce plenty of father and son built weather balloons showing the Earth's curvature. Isn't it funny how the Greeks didn't need lasers or weather balloons or DSLR cameras with high powered telescopes to come to the conclusion that the Earth was round? They just the measured shadows. Directly overhead, casting no shadow. But on the same day, when he observed the sun at its apex in Alexandria, there was indeed a shadow. The only place curvature exists is in NASA photos and videos, and those can be proven to be CGI fakes, and the early ones were literally taken through a round window to make the Earth appear round. An old reel received by mistake. It contains the raw or unedited footage of the crew of Apollo 11. Michael Collins, Edwin Aldrin Jr. and Neil Armstrong staging part of their mission for nearly an hour in living color with exceptionally clear behind the scenes audio of conversations discussing the techniques used to achieve a disingenuous picture depicting the earth at a distance in order to falsely demonstrate their far journey from it and their ability to survive passing through the Van Allen radiation belts. It cannot be misconstrued that this staging was done for some other reason prior to the mission, for the reel itself is slated and dated July 18th, 19th and 20th, 1969, the very days of the mission when they were said to be approaching and achieving lunar orbit. So I found the video clip Odd Reality inserts here. It appears to be from some documentary, but I can't figure out from where. As such, I cannot verify the claim that this is leaked Apollo 11 footage. What I can verify, however, is this leaked footage is shit evidence of any conspiracy. Pure shit. Watch your profanity.